A day after searches at NewsClick and journalists associated with the news portal, Delhi police has taken Prabir Purkayastha, the founder of NewsClick, and Amit Chakrabarti, HR head of the organization, into custody. Purkayastha and Chakrabarti have been arrested under the draconian anti-terror law, the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. The foundation of the case against NewsClick is a 38 crore allegedly received by the news portal as foreign funding. And the agency sources say that Chinese-backed entities infused funds into NewsClick to propagate pro-Chinese content through the news portal. ED sources say that NewsClick allegedly received 9.6 crore as FDI in April 2018 from a US-based company. The US-based company Worldwide Media Holdings LLC allegedly bought shares of NewsClick at an inflated premium of 11,510 rupees per share. Now, Jason Pfeffer, an associate of Neville Roy Singham, incorporated the U.S. company in 2017. And NewsClick has also allegedly received export remittances of 28 crore between 2018 and 2022 from two U.S.-based entities. During investigation, NewsClick couldn't produce any proof for exporting services to the U.S. companies. The opaque source of foreign funds of 38 crore have been traced back to Neville Roy Singham, a resident of China. Neville Roy Singham, reportedly a contact person of CPC China, allegedly infused funds into NewsClick to promote a leftist ideology. Not just the infusion of foreign funds in NewsClick, but also the end use of the said funds is also under the scanner of these agencies. And according to these agencies, the investigation has so far revealed that NewsClick has allegedly paid 21 lakhs as salary to Gautam Navlakha, who is an accused in the Bhima Koregaon case. NewsClick has allegedly paid 24 lakhs as salary to the family members of Tista Setilvad. NewsClick has also allegedly paid 40 lakhs as salary to the journalist Paranjoy Guha Thakurta. And NewsClick has also allegedly paid 23 lakhs as salary to the journalist Urmilesh. I'm a consultant. They asked me how much have you been paid, I told them. They asked me all kinds of questions. Have you covered the Delhi riots? I said no. Why are you a new, uh, consultant with them? Because I'm a journalist. How long have you been a consultant with them? I said from May 2018. Refuting these allegations, NewsClick in a statement has said that NewsClick has been targeted by a series of actions by various agencies of the government of India since 2021. Its offices and residences of officials have been raided by the Enforcement Directorate, the Economic Offences Wing of the Delhi Police and the Income Tax Department. Yet in the last two plus years, the Enforcement Directorate has not been able to file a complaint accusing NewsClick of money laundering. The Economic Offences Wing of the Delhi Police has not been able to file a charge sheet against NewsClick for offences under the Indian Penal Code and the Income Tax Department has not been able to defend its actions before the courts of law. NewsClick also wants to state for the record that NewsClick is an independent news website their journalistic content is based on the higher standards of their profession and that they do not publish any news or information at the behest of any Chinese entity or authority directly or indirectly. NewsClick does not propagate Chinese propaganda on its website and does not take directions from Neville Roy Singham regarding the content published on its website. They add that all funding received by NewsClick has been through the appropriate banking channels and has been reported to the relevant authorities as required by law as substantiated by the Reserve Bank of India in proceedings before the High Court of Delhi. The anti-terror law UAPA was slapped against NewsClick and its executives and NewsClick is charged with their terrorist act, terror funding and criminal conspiracy and is also accused of promoting enmity between two groups. Condemning the crackdown on the news portal, several press organizations have issued statements stressing the importance of independent media and free press. Journalistic bodies across the country have written to the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandra Chud, seeking his intervention over attack on media and seizure of devices. Even political parties have come out in support of the news portal and journalists who were raided by the Delhi police. I understand that it is more difficult and it is not difficult to do it. No one can do it. Why are you saying Delhi police? There is no one in the Grey Mantri. उनकी मर्जी के बगैर पत्ता हिलता है जो लोग आपसे सवाल पूछे जो आपकी भजन मंडली में शामिल होने से इनकार करते हैं 
आप उनके साथ ये आपका स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर हो गया एक फासिस्ट स्टेट की जितनी उसके अवयव होते हैं सब आप में विद्यमान है क्या नजीर पेश कर रहे हैं आप Sources also say that the investigation has revealed that Purkayasa has incorporated a company with Gautam Navlakha in a queues in the Bhima Koregaon case, allegedly with the help of investments from a U.S.-based defense company. The said investment and the affairs of the company have also been brought under investigation. With Arvind Gunasekar, NDTV Bureau report.